Hi everybody! For those who don't know me, I'm Miss Jamie from the Kindale Library in Seumbo, and we're going to do an online story time today. So we're going to get started with our opening song. Please uh, sing, um, do the actions along if you know them. And we start like this. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello. With our friends from story time, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello. With our friends from story time, we stomp and sing hello. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello. With our friends from story time, we wave and sing hello. Yay! Thanks, guys. So we're going to start our first book. Um, we're reading this today with permission from Simon and Schuster. This is one of my favorite books, and it's called A Dog Named Doug. It's written by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Matt Myers. A Dog Named Doug. Once there was a dog named Doug. Doug liked to dig, but when Doug dug, oh boy, did Doug dig. And you can see all the stuff in the yard that he's dug up so far. We've got a toaster and a soccer ball, an old photo, some bottles. Once he dug up a ground squirrel's nest. The feisty squirrel was not impressed. I can dig better than you. Doug howled with laughter. Let's see if that's true. So they started to race, but Doug dug faster. He proved that he was the digging master. With his nose down low, the dirt flew high. Clumps hit the cat as Doug sauntered by. Many miles of dirt dug, dug, leaving heaps and piles and mounds of mud. The rut so deep and holes so wide, a giant tractor fell inside. And boy, did Doug dig. He dug to the east. He dug to the west. He dug his way to a treasure chest with about a million dollars inside. Doug smiled wide, then tossed it aside. He dug his way past an old gold mine and took no notice of the danger sign. And oh boy, did Doug dig. He dug to the north and he dug to the south. There was grit in his eyes and sand in his mouth. He, but Doug kept scratching and scratching on till his head popped up on the White House lawn. He took the tour, he saw the sights, then decided he'd better dig home for the night. So Doug got busy digging and, oh boy, did Doug dig and dig and dig. Let's see where he dug to on this page. <gasps> Under the ocean, in the fish, <gasps> up next to a lion, the African safari, and Hollywood, a bowling alley, and Easter Island. Wow, that's a lot of digging. And he dig and dig. Okay, we got him up here in a mummy tomb. Oh, and he popped up in some drums. The top of a mountain and a golf course. And dig. Oh, that's upside down, isn't it? Let's see where he dug to. Oh my, it looks like he dug his way all the way to China. At home, the family scolded him hard. Doug, stop digging holes in the yard. 
but they fed him a bone, gave him a hug, then tucked him in bed with a good night, Doug. But still, Doug. Doug. Where is he going? From his house? He's dug all the way into his parents' bedroom. Doug settled into his cozy bed with visions of marvelous holes in his head. Doug had a dream he was digging, and oh boy, did Doug dig. And look at this silly page where he's digging in his dreams. All sorts of fun creatures and planets and colors. And that is the end. I hope you guys like that book as much as I do. I do have somebody here that would like to comment on the book. This is my good friend, Wrinkles. Hi, Wrinkles. No, nope, you're supposed to say hi. Hello? Well, you know what? That works. Did you like that book, Wrinkles? Oh my, yes! Oh, it makes me want to dig so much! But I have a question, Miss Jamie. Oh, what's that, Wrinkles? Well, why were your fingers on the book when you were reading it? Well, you see, Wrinkles, uh, print awareness, knowing what print is and how to handle the book, following the words on the pages, this helps teach kids to know words, recognize words, and also know how to handle the book properly. So it's the beginning stages to reading. Oh, wow. So if I watch you, it'll help me learn to read? Absolutely. Yay! Okay, we're going to do one song for the end, all right? It was nice seeing you, Wrinkles. You too. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, and we have one little one we're going to do last. And it's called Two Little Black Bears. Okay. So, two little black bears sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little black bears digging in the snow. One name fast, one name slow. Run away fast. Run away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. Two little black bears feeling pretty proud. One name quiet, the other name loud. Run away loud. Come back quiet. Come back loud. The end. Thanks for joining us today. I hope to see you guys here next week. Thanks.